I'm going to show you today how to do um, a little quick retouching technique that I use to get rid of peach fuzz using frequency separation. And it doesn't take very long, it's super simple. Here's my final on my model Jessica. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see that the skin is still intact. And that's the retouch version. I'm also going to probably show you guys dodging and burning, but that'll be on the second, the second one. So here is the peach fuzz. You can see all right here, she has quite a bit of hair on her face. So what we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate that file. So all I did is I went over the picture, right clicked and hit duplicate layer. Now you wanna label these. So one should be called color and the other texture. Now click off on the texture file, go to the color one, and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay? Now you wanna make sure that it gets pretty blurry. What you're seeing here is on my screen is actually I have um, the dodging and burning layer on, so let me turn that off so you can see. So that's what it's supposed to look like for you guys. So it'll be quite a bit blurry. To me, there's really no wrong way to do that. Then go to your texture file, click it on, and go to image, apply image, sorry. Scale needs to be set to two. The offset is gonna be 128. Now, you go up here to your layer, click on it, and you need to click on your color layer. that oops did something wrong so let's cancel that out mistakes always happen so let's go to texture some kind of way I've moved it image apply image scale to offset 128 you want to make sure you go to your color layer so it should look something like that so what it's doing is it's separating your colors from your texture. Click OK. Then you want to go over here, see where it says normal, click on that, go to linear light, right there, and that will bring your picture back to looking normal. Now, how do we get rid of the peach buzz? So super simple. All you do is you take your clone stamp. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Right click on any of the texture you want. Just go right over it. Super duper simple. Make sure to click on areas that are closest to it. Now I typically do this for all over the face. To remove different um, areas that just aren't quite even and this is how you keep that texture you see how it just looks all the same so I'll show you another one close up let me shrink my brush just a little bit now my opacity is at 55% and my flow is at 55% but you can play around with it to see whatever it is that you like or need It's just super simple. This is how you keep perfect skin texture. So I'm not gonna do it too detailed because I wanna make this video pretty quick for you guys. But there you go. So then you take your two layers, your texture and your color layer, group them together and create a folder. That way you'll be able to click on and off to see what it is that you just did. Of course, I did quite a few things. I also did her neck doing the same technique as well as using the color technique. Not technique, the color, <laughs> the color layer. So let me show you how the color layer works. Here's the color. So you click on that one 
same thing, or you can use um, you can use the patch tool. So basically, what I did with her neck is I did something similar to this with color, and then I did it with texture. And that's how I got rid of the line that was in her neck, here. Right there. So I did that technique. Okay. So another thing you can do if you want to highlight around the face, go to your clone stamp, make it a little bit bigger if you like. I like 111. And then you want to make your opacity down just a little bit, somewhere to be between 20 and 30 percent. Click any area, and then you can go over and you can lighten that area and change the color. Now, of course, I don't really want to do that, but I'm just showing this as um, an example. And that is how you get rid of peach buzz using frequency separation.